we are super white today and we have no makeup on there's a reason for that but we're at least gonna put on some mascara she's here now hey you guys and welcome back to my channel for those of you that have watched for a while you know that I normally do not shoot at night I normally film my videos in the daylight and use the natural lighting but under different circumstances I am having to film this at night and I'll explain why in just a second. Today I wanted to share with you guys a collab that I had started a month ago and I couldn't find a time to film it. There were just so many things going on and then I looked at my schedule and I said I'm actually volunteering at one of the children's hospitals here in my city. I feel like the best time to film this video would be after that visit and if you've ever been to like a children's hospital or honestly a children's hospice um, or if you haven't been there please just know it is the most eye-opening experience and as today's topic and collab is what matters more than money or as I originally called it, the What is Priceless collab. As I thought about it more and more during my visit, I thought, what matters more than money? And the second I walked into that hospital, and we weren't spending the whole day there, we were just spending time with some of the kids, and they had sent in like pictures and stories, and we were really just there to say, you know, thank you, we got your pictures and your stories, they were so great. These kids looked like like the circus had come to the hospital like floor 14 of nationwide children's hospital of columbus ohio they were loving it you would have thought that it was the greatest thing and i had been there before um i actually did a musical where my cast went to the hospice and palliative care floor and we did scenes for the kids because um how do i explain this without getting really sad because some of the kids could not come see that musical last year because they're on very strict like chemotherapy, radiation, treatment schedules. They could not come see it and they couldn't change the schedule. It's like a very strict rule they have. So those kids couldn't come see the show. So we made a point to go and visit them and do scenes in the hospital. Like they gave us this little room and some of the kids like wheeled their way in or you know, some were carrying like their IVs in. And then for those that actually still couldn't make that performance, we had a camera crew filming our performance of the show. So even if they couldn't be in the same room as us in the hospital, they could watch the live, I almost said live screen, live stream. I almost said live stream. They could watch the TV filming crews live recording in their hospital rooms. Like they made channel, I wanna say two or three, like our channel. But enough about that, that is not the point of this video. This video is a collaboration with just a few other YouTubers. It's a very busy time of the year for a lot of people, so um, I didn't reach out to a bunch of people, but just one or two are gonna be joining me. I will leave their links down below once I get that from them. Um, this collab is What Matters More Than Money. And again, I decided to film this collab late at night because I was coming back from doing a daily visit at the Children's Hospital. P.S. That's why I was not wearing makeup because you never know what you're going to see there, what, you know, kids will say when you're there. Like sometimes when I go that some kids still recognize me from a year ago. It's insane. And I don't want to be sad in front of these kids. I don't want them to see me be upset. I want to portray happiness and just positivity around them. But I never know how I'm gonna react like in my car before or after I see them. So I make a point just to not wear that. Okay, whew, moving on. Anyway, let's get going because I've talked far too long. We've not even gotten in to the contents of the What is Priceless collab. Obviously number one is going to be family and friends. In my eyes, why would I even bother trying to have money if not to make a better life? for my family and friends. Even if my money's not directly going to them each and every time, it's the fact that I can partake in activities with them, holidays, vacations, birthdays, so on and so forth. Family and friends are number one on my list and I hope several others. My number two is good health. I know that money can buy you, you know, good health insurance and doctors, but to me, good health is priceless. 
I feel like it's something everybody should strive to have. Not even the services you can pay for, just your daily life choices of drinking your water and getting your greens and all those things. Those should be priceless because you get one life. One. Unless you're this cat and then you get seven. Is that right? You get seven? Okay, you're gone. She's, she's over it. Number three on this list is passion and goals. Like, to have a passion or drive to do something, to me, that is priceless. That is what makes life worth living. And I'm a very goal-oriented person, or at least I became one in my teenage years. I always wanted to feel like I was working towards something. So to me, setting goals, having the passion and drive, those are things that are very priceless to me. And I don't really think you can pay for passion. You can't pay someone to tell you what you like. You can pay someone to help you get to your goals, but I don't think you can pay someone for your passion. If you disagree with me, please let me know down in the comments. I don't want to argue, but I'm always into hearing other people's point of views. Up next is freedom. It is no surprise that, well, I guess I shouldn't say no surprise. In my eyes, Americans should be very, very thankful that we live in a country that allows us freedom. And I know some people are going to say, we're not free. It's not true. It's a lie. I think it's true. I don't think it's a lie. I've seen what other countries go through. I have lived, in a sense, in third world countries, and I have seen the kind of lives that they have to live, what they have to go through every day, and just trust me, it makes you so much more thankful when you go home and see all the liberties and freedom that you get as an American. If you are not from America, I do not mean to say this to offend you, leave me a comment down below telling me like what you guys at least think of Americans in terms of freedom, I almost said an equality, freedom and liberty. Next on my list is love. Now, some people are gonna say, yeah, you can buy love. Beatles say, why you can't buy you love? I think that you go, you love your family, your friends, your spouse, all of that good stuff. But I feel like, like the true connection of love, whether it be to a person or a hobby or passion, whatever, that is priceless. There is no price tag you can put on that. And I couldn't think of like good examples with this. I just know. Maybe it's through sitting through all those weddings where you hear Corinthians over and over do the whole verse about love. It just, it sits with you that that is something that is in itself priceless. The greatest of these is love. All right, I've got two left. My list was not very long. Happiness is next on my list as to what is priceless and money cannot buy. Yes, I do believe that money can buy you a lot of things that make you happy, but your general overall happiness or the aura of just being happy is something that money just can't hand you. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I have worked jobs where I have taught kids. I, out of Ohio, I would go to these very expensive summer camps where parents paid a lot of money to send their kids away for camp and I was like the music and theater teacher. I can tell you from just witnessing this and kind of, you know, shadowing their lives since I lived with the kids in the cabin, money does not buy you happiness. Actually, as to what I've seen, the more money you have, the more like pressure you feel to show that you are happy. Regardless of how much money you do have, you should just be happy on your own. That should not be dictated by the amount of money in your savings account or your paycheck every two weeks. Just be happy because it's priceless and no one can buy it for you and and frankly your happiness is no one's responsibility except for yours and last but not least on this makeup list late night filming of what is priceless is kindness you guys it costs you nothing to be kind it costs you nothing to hold the door for someone say something nice to somebody greet a stranger as if you know them most likely you probably just made their day if you take anything away from this video, if you agree with no other points that I've made on my list of what is priceless, kindness. One of my favorite quotes in life is actually, work hard, be kind. That is one of my favorite things. It used to be like on the background of my phone. It was a quote on my Instagram. It's one of my favorite things. Kindness, you can't buy it, but it's priceless. Anyway, that is my list of what I believe to be priceless. Once again, this is a collab video, so check the URL links below to the other ladies participating in this. 
If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and please let me know down in the comment section what you deem to be priceless, whether your list matches mine, or you have things you think I missed, I would love to hear them. Leave a comment down below. And if you're new to this channel, click the little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. All the cool kids put on mascara at 8 o'clock at night. Do you see the difference now? Before? After. I don't know if you see any difference, but at least I can say I put some makeup on. Just that little bit of effort. She's here now. Ow! You bit me! She bit me. Ow! She wants to go play. Okay, we're gonna go play. Bye!